Hi everyone. Um, please excuse my appearance. I just got done running and I needed to do this video bleh, video really quickly um, just because I didn't want to make you guys wait forever like I did the last one. And so we'll get started with the men. Um, so Tomas Werner, 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 I never know how to say his name. I think I stumble over it in every video. But um, he ended up winning. He pulled up from third. He had a really um, great skate. It was really enjoyable to watch. Um, kind of innovative, too, I think. It's, it's ugh, gosh, I can't talk today. It's a good way to pull in. Um, well, men's figure skating is never really a good way to pull in fans, like, who aren't your usual figure skating fans. But it's a good way to pull in people who usually don't watch figure skating whenever you use really popular music like this Michael Jackson medley. Um, I think it was a really cool innovative idea. I don't care for the blue glove. I would prefer silver um, just because I feel like that's more true to Michael Jackson but whatever. It was a really cool free skate and um, I enjoyed watching it and so yeah good for him. I never ever would have figured that he would have won it, just to be completely honest. I figured he would get like third, pretty much is what I thought. Um, and then Patrick Chan managed to hold on for a second. I don't, I personally don't see how he managed to hold on to second. I feel like they really held him up in the program component scores. Like, I know he's a great skater and he has great skills. Like, there's no denying that. But whenever you fall three times, I don't see how that could not affect your component score. Like, it's a component of skating, <laughs> jumping is, and even though it's a technical element of it, it still should be reflected in your program component score. So I don't see how his scores were so high in that. I really felt like Jeremy Abbott, ugh, gosh, I really feel like Jeremy Abbott should have got second. I am a fan of him. Um, I was really lucky to get to meet him um, during the Stars on Ice tour, and he's a really nice guy. Um, I enjoy his skating, too. I can't say that I'm a huge fan of um, his programs this year. I do like his long program. His short program is just a little different, you know? it's He's trying something new for him, which is awesome. Um, the style, I don't know. I'm just used to a different style on him, so it's hard to see him do that. I don't want to say that it doesn't fit him because I guess if I was more used to it, it could. I don't know. Um, but I felt like he should have got second. I think that they held Patrick Chan up way too much and then kind of were a little bit harsh on Jeremy. But I mean, Jeremy obviously didn't have the greatest skate of his life, but still. So that's the men's podium uh, went Tomas, Patrick, and Jeremy. On to the latest. Oh my gosh, did you guys see uh, the banner? That was something like free, uh, was it free Fernandez or something like that? I did not understand that at all. I didn't know. Do you guys know what it meant? I just thought it was funny though. I saw it hanging up there. Explain it to me. I don't understand it. Um, okay, so ladies. Um, this podium, uh, went exactly how I thought it would go. Um, with the exception of Ashley Wagner, I thought she would be able to pull it off, but I wasn't 100%. So, um, yeah, I mean, I know I put her name in there with a few other people for, um, third, but I was... 100% positive Mickey would win and that Akiko would get second. I love Mickey Ando. Love her. Love her so much. She. I know she's very. Um, people would say non artistic, I guess. That she's just more of a jumper and doesn't really have any transitional elements. And I usually don't like that. I usually like the complete package skater. Um. But for some reason, I just love Mickey, and i um, so proud of her for uh, pushing through the back injury. Um, you could definitely tell that it was bothering her. Even whenever she was jumping, she, like, kept a good face through the whole program and stuff like that, but just 
I don't know, you could just tell whenever she was jumping that it was hurting her. And um, then obviously at the end of the program, whenever um, she was completely done with everything, you could obviously tell it was hurting her then. But um, I was very proud of her for pushing through that and stuff. And so it's a well-deserved first place for her. Um, I love, love, love her short program. It's probably my favorite short program of the season. Um, I'm kind of like her in the fact that I like that different kind of music, the non-traditional skating type music, although I do like the traditional um, skating music as well, but I just, I tend to like her music selections a lot, and so I feel that we have that uh, in common, which might be a part of why I like her so much. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed both of her programs. Um, the free skate is a little <sighs> boring at some points for me, but it's still good. She's still enjoyable to watch and stuff. Um, Ashley, I... For some reason I'm having a hard time remembering her free skate. I vaguely remember it. I love her dress. It's gorgeous. Um, pairs, exactly as I thought. Yuko Kawaguchi and Alexander Smirnoff got first. I am completely obsessed in love with their long program. It is just like the perfect music for them. Um, I, I just love it. I always feel like Yuko's a little too jerky in her movements and sometimes. I don't know how to explain that better, but I just feel like, I don't know, she's a little bit jerky. That's the only word I can come up with. But um, it's still a gorgeous program and I think suits them very well. And I've just always loved that music and it gave me chills. It was so beautiful. I loved it. And then um, Takahashi and Tran, is that how you say the last train. I, I don't know if that's how you say the last name or not, but um, they got second. I'm so excited for them. I really love this pair. Um, I don't know what it is. I just really like their skating. Um, I just really enjoy them. So I'm super excited that they got second. And then Amanda and Mark got third, which is awesome. Um, I think I got to watch their long program. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember if I did or not, but you know, they did pretty well for them, and I'm super pleased with them. Um, and then the dance, which totally, like, went crazy, pretty much. Um, so three teams withdrew, and a couple of those were the ones that I thought had a medal shot. So I don't even know what happened there, but yeah. Um... I don't remember this team that won from Cup of China. I don't remember them being there at all. But, um... They got second there. Who else was at Cup of China? I'm not for sure. But, um, we had three withdraw from the Ice Dance, which I thought it was a little weird that three did. Um, from what I got off of Ice Network, which wasn't very much, um, was that Kiefer hurt his back, and so that's why the Hubbles uh, pulled out. Um, and I have like the dirtiest mind in the world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so that's why the Hubbles withdrew. Um, and let's see. I have no idea why the Katie. Canadians withdrew. I have no idea why the Italians withdrew. Um, so pretty much I thought this Russian team that won, I thought that they would be on the podium, which obviously they were, and they qualified for the Grand Prix Final. Good for them. Um, I have to say I don't really care for them, <laughs> which is why I'm like, good for them. Um, I don't know why I don't care for them, but I just don't. Um, and then two teams that I know absolutely nothing about got second and third. Um, so, yeah. Um, please let me know if you guys know why these three teams withdrew. Yeah, anyway, that's it. The dance event was crazy. Everything else went how I thought it would. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching it. And comment your thoughts below. And, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Bye.